2023, I received a show cause letter from DILG asking me to explain why I should not be charged for violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act and for usurpation of authority under the revised penal code for continuously performing my duties as Barangay Chairman of Barangay San Antonio. At the onset, I filed an administrative appeal with the Sangkunian Panlalawigan of the province of Laguna to question the void decision of the Sangkunian Panlungsod of San Pedro, Laguna, finding me administratively liable for abuse of authority and imposing the penalty of suspension against me. I mentioned void because it was rendered without the participation of the duly elected 11 and 12 councillors, namely Irene V. Vernesa and Marion A. Arcierto, despite the unanimous resolution of Comelec recognizing them as such. The DILG even issued a memorandum ordering the city government of San Pedro to ensure that councillors Vernesa and Acierto assume their respective posts. Nonetheless, these were not respected and implemented by the city government. As a resident of San Pedro and who has been erroneously determined to be administratively liable, these issues raise concerns as the city government can whimsically disregard lawful orders from a constitutionally body. Moreover, the implementation of the penalty of suspension against me was irregular, carried out by the city mayor, since it was merely signed by the city administrator and not the mayor himself. These foregoing circumstances constrained me to file the appropriate cases in court questioning the composition of the Sangunian Panglungsod and the legality of the implementation of the suspension order despite my pending appeal before the Sangunian Panglalawigan. The local government code clearly states that duly elected councillors shall form part of the Sangguniang Panglungsod. Moreover, their decision shall not become final and executory when a timely appeal has been filed with the Sangguniang Panglalawigan. All of these are likewise stated in the rules of the Sangguniang Panlunsod, which appears to have been outrightly violated and disregarded in order to persecute me. Finally, the finances of the barangay were put at a peril when Land Bank refused to release the checks for the payment of salaries of employees and for the day-to-day -day operations of the various departments of the barangay. We were informed that I should not be the one signing these checks since I am currently suspended. I issued the appropriate letters so that the Barangay Council can conduct a special session to address this, but despite notices sent to the members, a quorum could not be reached because of the non-appearance of the members who filed the administrative case against me in the first place. All things considered, this case began as early as October of 2020, and it was only this May of 2023 that the Sangunian Panlungsod rendered said decision. Clearly, all of these are acts of personal hostility to discredit me in the eyes of the voting public as the barangay elections are set on October 30, 2023. Thank you.